everyone, it's Tammy, and I thought I would bring you along while I make my In Color Club cards for this month. And the In Color Club for this month is Flirty Flamingo. So I'm using this paper, and I'm also going to be using some Whisper White. And I'm going to cut these in an A2 sized card, which is four and a half, four and a quarter by five and a half. So I'm going to get rid of some of my stuff. Now I have, I need to make 10 cards and I thought I'd do 10 to show you guys how easy this can be. And I know that you can like, let's see how long it takes to make 10 cards, I guess. Not that I'm going to rush or anything, just checking it out. So five and a half inches, I'm cutting it. And I can do two of these at a time for the cutting. Now when I score, I only do one at a time usually. I sometimes will try to do two, but with the Whisper White or with the Stampin' Up! cardstock, it's not a great idea because our cardstock is so nice and thick. So with my card clubs, I give a card every month. Well, with the with the color with the in color club, I try to give a card every month that is using the card color of that month. I'm just scoring these at four and a quarter. And I don't fill it out or anything. I just leave it blank so that the recipient can use it to send to someone or can use it as an example or whatever they'd like. So if you were a member of my card club, this is something that you could expect along with all the goodies. You get a handmade card. And this will kind of show you that making 10 cards, although it sounds a little overwhelming, if you tell somebody that you made 10 cards in a day, that's a lot of cards to make, but you can make 10 cards in an hour. And um, I know I've done the One Sheet Wonder card. I'll probably do another one of those sometime soon. Those cards are a little bit smaller than the A2 sized cards, but you can see that these are the A2 sized cards and they are... We're going to do 10 of them in under an hour. I have a feeling. I hope that it will be under an hour. And then I have my Flirty Flamingo. And I'm going to cut this at five and a quarter by four. See what I mean by our cardstock is so thick. And then I'm going to do five and a quarter again on this side. And then I'm going to do four inches here. And four inches here. Four inches. And I think that's all the cutting that I need to do. And I'm going to use my bone folder. I'm just going to go in and burnish the cardstock so that it's all ready. I, it's really amazing to me what a difference a bone fold does to a card. I used to not understand that and you know just would fold it myself, but it's so much crisper and nice, nicer with a bone folder. And I suppose you could use other things, but. We sell these at Stampin' Up. They're probably about $7 a piece, maybe, I'm guessing. I think I, nope, I didn't. Okay. Felt like I had this one too long, but I don't. 
So then there's all of those. And then all of these. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm thinking, do I want to put my image on this or do I want to have another layer? I think I'm going to need another layer on top of this. And I'll need whisper white for that. So I could go a quarter of an inch, but I think I'm going to go a whole inch smaller because I want it to be a nice background of this flirty flamingo. So let's see, I'm going to go, this is cut at four by five and a quarter, so I'm going to go three by four and a quarter. So I'm just going to go three and then three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then three. And then four and a quarter. And four and a quarter. And four and a quarter. And this card is going to be fairly simple, which is another way to keep your uh, your your quickness down and to get your card going. I'm going to just go ahead and put this on top of this, and I'm using my ATG gun. You could use your snail gun or your snail adhesive. It's the same thing, only. This is because I do so many cards. I need to change my blade on my cutter. I'm noticing it kind of leaves a little frayed end if you need to change your blade. So it kind of tells you when it's ready to be changed. And honestly, it's so infrequently even though I use my cards or I do my cards so much, I only change my blade every, I don't know, month maybe? Maybe not even that often. And I make a ton of stuff, so I'm melting a wax melt in here and it smells so good. It's called Cherries in the Snow from Mimi's Tarts. Oh, it's like a almond cherry scent. It smells so good. Oh, it looks like I'm short one. <laughs> I actually have a piece of pink flamingo right next to me. Or short two. I have a piece of pink flamingo right next to me. I didn't even pay attention. So I need this to be at four. No, at five and a quarter. Yikes. Five and a quarter by four. Yes. And I think I am going to use my Misty on this, which makes projects like this go a little faster too. So there's that. And then before I put these down, I'm going to go ahead and use my Misty. And you can tell it's well loved. And I can't tell, are these rubber stamps? Yes. These are rubber stamps, so I'm going to take off my rubber mat because I don't need that anymore. Well, I don't need that for this particular stamp set. Goodness. And I could change the paper out, and I'll do that so that you guys can see. But I will use it till it gets all crummy myself. 
Now I'm just going to put this in the corner and then I'm going to pick out my designs. I want to use, this is one of our new stamp sets. It's called Beautiful You. It's in the new catalog. Um, I'm going to use this girl. And I think I'm going to use They were in the wrong boxes. That's kind of funny. I'm going to use this little, just this little thing right behind it. And I think that might be it. So let's see how that looks and then we'll go forward. So my flirty flamingo. I love how everything in our collections matches. So that's really cool too. So for this, I am going to put the scribble behind it and then I'm going to put this little dancing girl right on top or maybe even on the maybe closer to the bottom something like that but I'm gonna make this in flirty flamingo and then I'm going to do her in smoked slate so I'm just taking my flirty flamingo and inking it up and putting it down and this is nice, the Misty is nice because I know that when I put it in this corner, it's going to stamp in that same place every time. So one of the reasons the Misty is nice is because of that. The other reason is that if I, let's say I put the image down and it didn't get a full image for some reason, I could re-stamp and I would know that it was in the same spot and it would just re-image. I don't always need to use the magnets depending on the image. Is like If it was a really fine image, I might use it just because I wanted to make sure it didn't move. And if I'm using the polyurethane, or polyurethane, is that right? Polyphoto, if I use the clear stamps, I often will use the magnets because the clear stamps are actually kind of sticky. And if you've ever used them, you know what I mean. They all like stick to the paper. And the rubber stamps don't tend to do that. So this helps you when you're doing a ton of cards or a ton of anything. It helps you just making sure that you get them in the same spot and that you can do a bunch in a hurry. And again, not that I'm in a hurry, just, you know, I don't want to spend my whole day making the cards if I don't have to. Well, I'll probably spend my whole day making cards, but not the same card. <laughs> I love card making, so. And then I have my handy dandy wipes over here. These are just baby wipes. These are from Target. And it looks like I didn't clean off my Misty very well the last time I used it, so I'm doing that now. I try to do it every time, but I must have missed it. So once I've cleaned my stamp off, I can put that away. And then I have my little dancing girl. And I'm just going to place her where I feel like I want her. And I'm going to do this one in Smoky Slate. Cute. Oh, these images are so cute. I mean, if you wanted to watercolor them or something, you certainly could. I might even put a sentiment on it now that I'm looking at it. And I could do that at the same time if I wanted to. Let me show you. This one's cute. It says, life looks wonderful on you. Well, this 
so I know that that's there. I'm actually just going to push that down so I can see it. I could leave it just like that. It's kind of muted, but it's really pretty. I want to make sure I have that the right way. Yes, I do. <laughs> that would be a bummer. So then I can do them both at the same time. That one I kind of messed up on actually. See how I made it blurry? I must have moved the paper a little bit. So I'll do that one again. Where the magnets do help. Ooh, and I'm not getting the beautiful in there. There we go. I don't know if you saw that, but it like helped make the beautiful show up better. I do need this. I was thinking I needed it, but then I couldn't remember why. Okay, I'm going to take off this stamp, but only the girl, because I need to put the sentiment on the other stamps. So I can take that off. I can move this. I need to still do the pink on that one. Those all need sentiments. That's it. I need the sentiments. So see what I'm doing this time? I actually took the whole stack that I needed to do and put them here in the corner and then I'm just taking them off of the stack. I can do that because there's not very many that I <clears throat> needed to do. And I'm finished with that one. I will erase the sentiment. I'll get out my little scribble again. about there it's not going to be a huge big deal if it's not exactly in this spot there we go but that's part of the reason why I like to stamp before I put that on the card because if you mess up there's a another side So there we go. Let's put this back. Oh goodness. Let's put that one back. Okay, and then it would be cute if we used some of the smoky slate uh, ribbon and we're going to do the well you know what I think we're not going to do that I think we're just going to do it this way I am going to have hair so this is going to look like this and then I'm going to put this I'm thinking this way yeah so I'm just going to cut 10 of these, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. should do it and then what I will do I'm gonna go ahead and put my sticky on this and I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on all four sides That's stuff falling over over here <laughs> I need to organize my craft room I think when I do it this way, car the length of the ribbon gets longer and longer each time. And then I just like to put a little bit of adhesive over the ribbon just because I'm kind of goofy like that. And then I'm just going to center this in here. Oh, or maybe I won't center it. Maybe I'll go down a little bit. Yeah, I think I like that better. Just like that. So then, and I think I'm just gonna go on the top and the bottom. Here, go up there, and then go over the adhesive now and put it here. So I think this card is really cute and it's super easy. Two colors. And honestly, if you wanted to make it more something something, you could. But sometimes with cards like this, less is more. The only thing I might do is I might, if I didn't, but I like this little squiggly thing and I wanted it to be the same color. If I didn't use that, I would probably watercolor her. But since I used that, I would, I would, I'm leaving it just like that. I think it's pretty. Now I'm not sure, I'm thinking if I want to put a bow on there or not. Sometimes I think less is more. And then sometimes I think that bows and glitter are good on everything. <laughs> way because this is how I would do it normally I just put them all around <laughs> because I have found that if you're doing something in bulk it's easier just to get the parts going you know, do one thing, then another thing, then another thing. It just seems to be a lot easier that way. So there's that. That. So what are you guys doing this fine day or week? What do you guys have planned? I'd like to go to a movie, I think, but I'm not sure if we're going to be going. I don't even know what's out right now. It's been a little while since I've seen a movie. And I like going to the movies. Oh, did I not cut enough? Or 
do I have too many? No, I don't have too many of these, do I? Oh, you know what? I might. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I have too many of these. I was, I'm doing 12 of them. I'll just leave those up there. I forgot because when I cut these out, I made more than I needed. I forgot it. I could easily make two more cards though if I wanted to, but I'm not going to right now. Okay, so how far along are we? Gosh, we, it looks like it says 26 minutes. I hope that's what it says. It might say 36, but either way, we've done 10 cards. So we can be done right now, and these cards are super cute. I'm going to tie a bow and see if I like that. And if I don't, I'm going to leave them. But if I do, I will do that for all of these. But I will say that sometimes the small bows are hard to make. But with this um, stitched ribbon, it's a little bit easier. too small. Come on. These scissors are driving me bananas. I need to get them sharpened. I have a knife sharpener. I wonder if I could do it. Oh, see, I like the bow. I'm going to do the bow. So I need to make 10 bows. One, two, Over. So make it go cross eyed. I don't know why I'm trying to be so non-wasteful with this bow. Come on now. Just make the bow, silly. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. 
Um, Eight. Nine. One more, one more, one more. And ten. Yay. A little bit of trash, not too bad. And I'm going to take a glue dots and I'm just going to place one on each card with a bow. <laughs> I'm trying to pick it up. <laughs> Oops, it's stuck to my hand. I think these are really cute and super easy using some of our new product and if this is something that you guys would like to be in my card club I should be starting a new in color club in the next couple of months and it is a club well let's see this is for in February I should be starting a new club and it will be um, all of the new, well, all of the in colors that we have. Is that right? Is it February or will I wait? No, I think I can do it in February. February, March, April, May, June. Because these in colors are good for until 2018. So I'll do those in colors and then when I'm finished with this club, with that, with that club, I will start the new in colors for 2017. That will be good until 2019. They're good for two years. Okay, now I think we can say we are complete. All 10 cards, all beautiful and in just a matter of a little short time. So thanks so much, guys. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.